have come a long way. If we think back about when television was first introduced into Samoa, we could never run a story um, against the government. And I did make an attempt when Tumu and Puli had the GST protests march, and I, I got the sack there. It was a big issue to run a story about anything that is against the government. But now there's a lot more press freedom. There's a lot more freedom for the media, but um, there is still a lot of room for improvement um, so that we can say, yes, there is complete um, press freedom. Uh, for instance, the government agencies need to understand the role of the media in, in the development of society and in democratic society. Um, now we're still finding it very, very difficult to get information out of government agencies. But this is the only way our people can be informed and for them to make informed decisions is to, for us to provide that information that is essential for them to make those decisions. We are not completely free. As much as our Prime Minister tries to champion uh, media and press freedom, as I said, there are government agencies um, that refuse to release information to the media. Um, and that is because they are underestimating the role and the significance of that role that the media plays in getting people connected and, and, and getting the information that they need in order to make informed decisions. Well, I think uh, private media um, plays a more important role in that it's able to report um, fairly and um, factually. You know, so if anything, I think there should be more private, um, privately owned media organizations.